Hi, it's been a while. How long? A year? Yeah, it's definitely been a while. I think it's time for a video to come out. I know, I know, new setting, new hair, new me. I don't really know what this video is gonna be about. I kind of just wanted to film something because I miss YouTube, okay? So I guess you're just gonna watch me do my nails and watch me talk. <coughs> Okay, we're good, it didn't break. You're gonna watch me do my nails and watch me talk. Yay! The most important thing while doing your nails is the cuticles, not the polish itself, just the cuticles. That's the only important part, so. Obviously, I'm in a new environment. I'm in a new house, and that is part of the reason why I haven't been filming lately. It was just a lot. Also, I didn't have anywhere to film. Everything was just like packed, so it was just kind of hard to film. And now that I'm not doing as many like after school things, like sports has finished, for me at least, I have a lot more spare time now. So I definitely am going to be able to make more videos because I have spare time. And also, I just found it really difficult to stay motivated to make videos. I liked filming videos, I just hated editing them, especially voiceovers. I really am into art and I definitely wanna post a lot more art. It's just, the freaking voiceovers are so boring to do and I didn't have any motivation to do them. I literally had, I think three videos in the making and they were all completely filmed. I just had to do the voiceovers. I just didn't want to. I'm sorry, you can't really see them because I deleted them. <laughs> With not having a ton of followers, I just was like bored of it. I was like, well, it doesn't matter. There's not many of you there, so I don't care if you see them or not. Thank you to the 28, 27. Thank you so much for watching my videos and stuff. Mostly just lack of motivation was why I didn't post lately, but I'm definitely going to stay on that more because I have a lot of spare time and I'm going to be insanely bored because I can't sit still for very long. I think I'm gonna have like a schedule that'll make things a lot easier. And then I have a lot of things that I want to post. I've noticed while I'm doing something like in the moment, I'm like, oh my gosh, that makes such a good YouTube video. I should do that. I definitely am going to be posting a lot more YouTube shorts. Those are just really easy for me because they're such short videos. I can post them on TikTok for you guys if you want but I'm scared of posting things on TikTok because I have a lot of friends from school that follow me on TikTok and I don't wanna post those to TikTok. Ew, don't, don't watch me. With the painting videos, I really, really like posting art for you guys. It's just like so much fun. I love art and I wanna keep posting it for you guys. It's just the voiceovers are not fun at all like I was talking about. So I'm thinking that I'm going to do them in more real time. So a lot of my art videos might come in two-parters. I'm thinking it'll be a lot easier if I can just talk to the camera as I'm doing right now. Another thing that I really like and enjoy doing is the rock and roll kitchen videos. As ridiculous as they are, I really like doing it. I definitely want to get back into YouTube. It's a lot of fun. It's really calming for me. Got our colors. Oh, that's not color. Another thing that I've been running into that makes my filming YouTube life difficult is not knowing what the heck to post. I run out of ideas really quickly and I just never know what to post. If any of you have good ideas, hit me up in the comment section. I know I said I don't have ideas for anything, and that's true. But what else is true is I do have a lot of ideas. I just don't know if they're good enough to post onto YouTube. I, I don't know what, like what would be good or not. I definitely think my problem before was I was trying so hard to be funny. We're trying so hard to like be something that someone would want to watch. And I was trying to like do what everyone else was doing. I'm thinking that if I just let go a little bit and just post what makes me happy and act how I always act, then I think I'll just end up being a lot happier posting these videos. I mean, I was happy before, but man, this girl was a try hard. I think the biggest struggle for me going on is that i'm in an unfinished house i don't really want to film upstairs where it is finished because my parents are up there and that's where everyone spends all their time and it would just be kind of 
weird. I, I can't really film anything downstairs because it is unfinished. I'm sure I'll figure something out. I'll find a plain wall or I'll move stuff around. I don't know. But that is the dilemma here. I don't have a desk either. And I'm getting one at some point. It's just I don't have one right now. What do I do? I could post other kinds of videos, I guess. If you want to see like a morning routine, I don't know, I can do that. I definitely want to do a collab with Parker. And I say this all the time and I never end up following through. I just never know what to do. I'm sorry, Parker. This is gonna take forever and I'm running out of things to say. So you might just watch speed mo of me painting my nails for a while. Yeah, let's do that. I definitely smudged one of them really, really, really bad. But you know what? It's fine. I honestly just painted my nails. So I had something to do while I was talking to you. So, okay. Obviously, I, you know what I want to post. Art, Rock and Roll Kitchen, whatever else is in the mix. I want to post a, like, like video, like real video, at least once a week. And then I'll probably post YouTube shorts in there. If I don't end up posting a video once every week, it'll probably be once every two weeks. I'm trying to ease back into things. I'm hoping that that will make up for it. I don't know, I just wanna come back to YouTube. Thanks so much for watching and maybe I will see you next week. Bye.